Okay, this is for all the bicyclists, um, guys owning trucks and specialists and uh, Jameses, any kind of bike that uh, you pedal, bicycle. Got a nice little 23.7 mile course that, that starts here in Hanover, Pennsylvania at the Grandview Shopping Center, right over here at Rudders, uh, called the Swedish Mile, named it the Swedish Mile. And uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour. So I'm on my, my motorbike, my Harley, and uh, let's take you on a little tour and see if you like it. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful way to go. A lot of hills, a lot of nice ascents and descents, and the descents are just plain wonderful. So we're going to get going. Let's see if you like it. Uh, if you do, you're more than welcome to visit beautiful Hanover, Pennsylvania and uh, begin your course here and end your course here. A lot of nice shopping and, and uh, places to eat around. So we'll kind of point things out as we go, go along. Different little rest stops that you can make probably at about a 14 mile, 13, 14 mile area. Right now we're on Grandview. On Grandview going east. And uh, you start out with a little nice descent. So, we'll show you the routes. Uh, you're going to go by a lot of tree lined areas. And you'll see a lot of shade. Now it's about 3.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. September 18, 2021, so you get an idea of the shade. It's probably uh, 75 degrees, 76 degrees out here right now, and a lot of humidity, but it's off the beaten path and, and something that I certainly enjoy as I, uh, as I uh, actually just bought a new Specialized uh, LB's Elite. Got it down in uh, down in Towson, Towson, Maryland, and uh, was thinking about it buying a a Jameis up here, but I found this as a really good deal. And uh, we're going to take Black Hawk, Black Rock Road. Right off of Grandview, and of course I'm going to go more at speed, but it'll give you a flavor of what uh, the ascents and descents are like, and and uh, lot of nice flat areas too where you can just enjoy getting up to speed. Again, it's probably 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, it's a beautiful day, a little bit overcast. But we've got a beautiful, long descent here. And uh, truly enjoying the weather, the breeze, the speed. I think I've gotten up to 33, 34 miles per hour. Um, I just took my specialized out pump it up a little bit but uh, I'm sure those that are really into cycling as well. well off to the left is part of a Cadoris Lake, Cadoris State Park that will come back around and see again from the uh, from the other side as we're coming back into Hanover. But uh, in the meantime you'll be enjoying some 
nice tree-lined areas with very, very little traffic to bother you, except, of course, as you're coming back into town and leaving town, as you saw. A lot of people fishing and, and just enjoying the weather today, enjoying the lake, enjoying the state park. I'm going to take a little sidetrack here as we go off uh, to the south. Now we're going to take a right. At about 2.4 miles, this is Frogtown Road. So we're about two and a half miles into a ride already, and uh, got a nice little short flat area up here where again you see a lot of trees and some minor developments, but uh, the road is very smooth uh, on this part. There are parts on Frogtown that uh, are a bit bumpy and not as you know, concrete smooth or asphalt smooth as some might like, but that's okay. So you come up to a T intersection here and you are going to make a right on Frogtown. And cross the bridge and make a quick left. Obviously, you can deviate as much as you want to, but we're we're going to continue on Fog Town. And this is a part that gets a little a little uh, rough. I've noticed deer crossings here. But it's beautiful uh, to capture some shade, especially this time of year and this time of day on this side of the road. As you can see, the right part of the right lane is pretty well eaten up and it's very gravelly, very rough. But you know, if you stay in the center, you're pretty good. At least at this point. not to exceed 25 miles an hour as you go through this area. Try to stay uh, a little bit on the smooth side even though it's maybe a little bit too close to the oncoming traffic, but that's okay. Up here they're used to seeing motorbikes managing to stay away from them. So you come to another T and we will take left. Muscleman Road. The reason I know this area, well, other than just traveling it quite a bit on my bike and, uh, and Harley because there is a Harley-Davidson repair shop up here called Blutner's and I'll point that out as we get there but uh, definitely rural and definitely just beautiful to be in perfect kind of roads that you get. You're coming up on a little bit of an ascent and uh, you can get a burn, at least I do, not in being in the best of shape right at here. But after that it, it smooths out and you can get back into your third and fourth rear ring. Letner's is coming right up here on the right see the post office box or the mailbox and then their sign. This too is another little bit of a burn, but only for those that are not in the best of shape or maybe just a little bit weak in the legs. 
take a right. And beautiful, beautiful downhill. Just fun to crank on this. And then of course, you're back into your uh, low gear as you're coming up the hill. <laughs> At least I am. Even though I've got the compact on my uh, Elise Elite, it's uh, still a little bit of a, a little bit of a hurting game for me sometimes on these. So there's only about three or four hills on this route that kind of can cause some burn, at least for me. Most of it is a gradual incline and then just beautiful descents that uh, you can enjoy and crank it as fast as you want to go. So we'll get through those. Now we're coming up to a stop sign. We take a left and uh, we'll be Headed over to a little kind of town or village called Glenville. On, believe it or not, a road called Glenville Road. Now we're at about 5.7 miles into the ride. And across some beautiful bean fields. The sky is just wonderful, the air is terrific. People pay attention to bicycles up here and motorbikes. So as long as you're careful, ride in line, ride in pairs, ride carefully and, and uh, do what bicyclists typically do in terms of courtesy rides. You're going to be in good shape. It's a good two bottle ride, one and a half, uh, at least I've got one and a half that I go through. And at about a 14 mile, 13, 14 mile mark, uh, there is a nice little kind of grocery store that you can go into, a convenience store and make a stop. If you want to make it a stop, or obviously you can Cut it all the way through. The whole 20 to 24 miles. 23.7. So right now I'm at at speed. And uh, again it's a nice descent. You're gonna have beautiful, beautiful descent from here for the next mile or so. It's just plain wonderful. No real sharp turns, no real, I mean, nothing that you can't manage at speed, you know, 35 miles an hour on the bike. Temperature is just absolutely phenomenal. If you're on your cell and talking to your girl or to a friend, you will lose them right here, right in this area, about seven miles in. For some reason, there's dead cells here, and uh, as soon as you come back out, you will regain, uh, regain contact but, for the ability to reconnect, but it, it's uh, very unique. A lot of nice little side roads you can take and create your own your own route from here. Um, I haven't taken them. I just really enjoyed this particular route. Uh, as you can see, there's just beautiful coverage, nice uh, nice trees, nice canopy of shade. 
that uh, any bike list in the dead of summer will truly, <laughs> truly appreciate it. So they come up to a nice sharp turn up here. And uh, as soon as you get down to the bottom of this hill and begin to climb, it could be one of your hills that you might burn a little bit before you get to the top. And I'm just speaking from personal experience, but that's just me. Got an old church. Nice little back areas. Southeast side of Pennsylvania. And the southeast side of, uh, of Hanover. Got a little bit of a hill here. Um, which is not too bad. But, um, you can get to no low gear. Best of shape, but then you have these wonderful, wonderful scents. Uh, just so refreshing and relieving. And build back those muscles. And refresh them a little bit. So we're at nine, nine point three miles right now. Really nice flat for the most part, but the rolling hills certainly make it a joy. Um, get the exercise you're gearing and, and uh, also have a chance to just look at the beautiful scenery around. The corn and beans. At least at this time of the year, they haven't detasseled it yet. So uh, it's not quite ready to be picked, but uh, you know, got the Mannheim Adventure Park. You can take St. John Street up there to the north. And uh, this detour sign has been here for a while, so you can just kind of ignore that sign because if you continue straight you'll go into your convenience store and your 14 13 mile rest stop in Glenville at the convenience store if that's where you choose to stop. There's nice little roads, all paved, well maintained throughout this area <laughs> and uh, create your own route. I mean, this is uh, one that takes you by lakes, streams, a little bit of traffic, but I love the rolling hills. We've got another beautiful descent and uh, there'll be one going into Glenville as we approach the 13, 14 mile mark. No one really out here to, to bother you. Not a lot of traffic, as I was saying, even on this road, which uh, is kind of direct from, uh, from Baltimore Pike which is the south road kind of coming into Hanover. Um, that goes east uh, into Glenville. So those with GPSs, I don't know your coordinates, but uh, you go by satellite positioning. You know, you can share that, share those details with your buddies. Uh, 
I just have a very simple cat eye on my bike that just tells me speed and distance and time and that's really all I care about. So, coming into Glenville, as you can see it's uh, just kind of a little village. Um, that uh, intersects with 216, Route 216, and um, we'll take a left up here and get over to the, uh, get over to the convenience store, actually at your potential stop. I stop here and get, get, get a, uh, an electrolyte drink and maybe a, a fruit bar or something. So we're at 12.4 miles, okay? 12.4 and right off here where that truck is coming through there's a convenience store and uh, I come out this way or you exit right on the parking lot of the convenience store and you're good to go probably see a little bit more of the traffic up there a particularly good intersection but it is one that uh, can get busy because people are going to Pedoras State Park. Now this is a gradual descent and just easy once you get out of your rest stop if that's your choice um, just wonderful to get back on and uh, hit your top gear. So you can really crank it around these. You've got a very gradual, very gradual descent. It's just a lot of fun. And it's flat for a while. Just an easy, easy, wonderful ride. This area's this pavement is very smooth. It's, it's uh, better maintained than Frogtown just because there's a lot more traffic on it. There are tracks, although, well, as you come through, you can see there, there is your standard kind of Pennsylvania tree coverings canopies you can hide behind which are just great. Save a lot of energy and save you heat. The um, building that you see on your right uh, is used for weddings, and receptions, and parties of all sorts. As you begin to climb here, you're not in the lowest gear by any means. Um, it's, 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 it's more gradual than what it appears. And uh, you're going to be coming back out from being at lower elevation and just gradually climb back out. Right now we are uh, 14.3 miles into the ride. So, always a competition. Fedora State Park is what we're entering right now. Trying to maintain a distance between these guys, but we're at 17 miles into the ride. Nice and flat. And you got a broad shoulder here too that is it's so nice to have that after kind of riding thin lines back there. As you can see, the, uh, the lake begins to open up on this side as well. There are docking, uh, a docking area pretty much all along this area. Kayaking, canoeing, and fishing. Or get your license all throughout this area. Um, I 
I'm not a fisherman, so I can't tell you really what kind of fish are here. But, uh, this is really um, a nice place to be. You can rent boats up here as well. They don't have speed boats. They do have pontoons you can rent and uh, canoes. I think little fishing boats with a small engine on them. So, a little Evan route or whatever they use nowadays you can put on the back of the boat. But they have all that, all that gear here. So we're back climbing. We're on Blooming Grove Road, which is another name for 216, kind of a local, uh, local name. As you can see there's a lot of nice inlets and fingers to the lake. You are climbing here. Um, it's a relatively long climb, but a relatively easy Farm. And you go into the marina there. Uh, the sun is getting a little bit in my eyes, so I'm going to keep the camera down some. The camera uh, I'm using is in the helmet, and um, so if you see a lot of movement, it's because my head moves a lot. Here's your swimming pool. in there and there's your swimming pool. I enter this intersection which is one of the busier ones around. So this is Grandview and Blooming Grove. You take a left and now you're headed back to uh, your rudders area and your starting point. 21.2 miles a fairly busy road. Um, so again, I stay outside the right line on the shoulder as much as I can. Yes, of course, Cannondales. I forgot to mention Cannondales, and I'm sure I left everybody else's favorite bike out, but, um, and, you know, I'm a novice. But I wanted to share this with you. I think it's, uh, I think the Swedish Mile is a wonderful, wonderful path to take. And uh, if y'all are inclined to get up here sometime, um, I know that you will enjoy it. It's just an easy ride, and there's a lot of nice stops along the way. And uh, hanging out in Hanover, you've got your every kind of eatery you want. You know. your standard stuff. So if you're getting a lot of sun right now guys, I'm sorry, but you can't do much about what the camera's picking up. I don't I don't know where we are. So now if you recall, this is where we took a right off of Boom off of uh, Glenville. And uh, <coughs> this Black Hawk Road and we went up that street. It was kind of the beginning of our nice little adventure uh, out, of, out of town. Let's see, we're at 22.4 miles. I guess it's about 23 miles that we're looking at. We've got 
got all sorts of hot dogs downtown. There's a famous 